Hi, I wanna share with you this dog training collar. It comes with the collar, the remote, the um, quick user card. Um, it's very handy and easy to figure out. Um, and then there's the full user manual, a charging cord with, it, so it's a single, single USB on one end, and then the USB-C double on the other end, so you can charge both the collar and the remote at the same time. Um, and then it comes with the um, probes, both long and short ones. I will be putting the short ones on my dog. Um, and then there, because I have a short-haired dog, you'd want the long, longer ones for longer-haired or maybe dog with extra um, skin around its neck. And then a leash for putting on your wrist. And then a tester. So this has a little light in it that will light up when you um, put it on here and test out the shock. Um, so you just put these probes in, twist them in quite simply. They go in easily. And then you um, put this on here. Let's see if I can do this and show you. And then you can push the shock. Oh, I had it turned all the way down. So you can push the shock and see that it is working. Um, I always, before I use one on my dog, I will test out to see what the shock is like. And I have it on level one and can barely feel it on my calloused fingers. So I'll turn it up. Three is more than the most I would ever use on my dog. Um, but it's really not that bad. Um, so just kind of give you an idea of where you might be able to change it. it the shock goes all the way up to 18. Um, I recommend you don't do that on your dog unless you're willing to try it yourself, I guess, um, or to save their life, I suppose. And then, um, so it vibrates, it beeps, and it also shocks. And so it has different colors that'll light up so you know that it's being received from a distance. You can see that your dog did indeed get the message you're trying to get through. Um, you adjust the collar right here and trim off the extra. This is gonna be plenty big for most dogs. Um, you can see I have this quite tight and there's a lot of extra space for my, for my neck. Um, and I'll put it on my dog and let you see. So you can see how much extra um, ribbon there is. You can cut it off and burn the ends if you have too much, or if you have a big dog, this should work. So right here, there is a waterproof port um, that you can close for when you're not charging it. And then down here is the port for this one. So the buttons, you power it on, you um, push the channel, to make sure it's on the right channel. It's automatically on channel one um, when you start it up, but there are, I think, three. I forgot to notice that. Um, yes, three channels. And then um, you can change the vibration power by pushing the mode button. The vibrate will flash, and then you can go through the different levels. Um, and then, if you want to change the um, the shock, you just use the arrows, so you can quickly change that without um, having to monkey with anything. And the beep doesn't change the loudness, and it's plenty loud for your dog to hear. So, and also there is a lock here on the side, so you can't accidentally bump any of the buttons when you're out for a walk and don't intend to. So this is a really nice, um, easy to use, well thought out, dog training collar.